this is going to be the last video that I make on this chess drama thing, I think, because I've, I've finished my code. And uh, first of all, I'd just like to show you the code running. So I'll do um, control shift end, hit run. Okay, so it comes up with a list of players and the list is based on players with ratings in the range 2,600 to 2,699 at some point, but also where in this data set, they've also been in other ranges. So it's probably best if I just show you the output. So if I go to, um, so as you can see here, this person has data in this 2600 to 2699 level, but also in one, two, three, four. So it, I think I made it a minimum of four levels. And here we have Magnus Carlsen with data in all the levels, which has got that um, kind of hump shape, which I mentioned before. Something else, I've standardized the range. So they all go from zero to 80. So it's easier to compare now. Um, and it's a fairly short list. If I go back to the program, it ran in 23 seconds, which is interesting to me because the last time I ran it, it took about 14 seconds. Oh, and I ran the program and how many players are in that list? I think it's 24. We've got 24 players here. I'm not going to try the names. Magnus Carlsen. No. Um, this person. And this person, Faruja, I know that name, Gukesh, Hakobian, <laughs> I'm trying, drinking game, every time I get a name wrong you have to take a sip, Howald, David Howell, this is, um, I had to change the, the range because this one was, dis it disappeared behind the legend, um, Ivik, Kima, Kima, I don't know, Mag Sudlu, I don't know, no, not going to try that one. Nguyen, Guyen, Hans Niemann, who, yeah, he fits the criteria now because he's he's been in this range here, 2,600 to 2,699, and also has data in other. He improved a lot here, and then a bit here, and then not much here, but quite a bit here. Okay. Nihal, no, not going to say that one. And probably nearly there. That's it. I think I mentioned in the previous video that I wanted it, when it runs, I wanted it to number the players, which it does now. So there's a list of 24 players. Oh, I didn't know that was starting on zero. I've only just noticed that. Never mind. It's not, not the end of the world. So the main thing, because I don't want to, I don't want this to be a long video. We're on four minutes. I could get away with this. I still got to edit it. Okay. This is the main stuff here. We have. Now this is for, this isn't just for the 24. This is for all players in the data. This is the trend for centiporn loss. If you're less than 2,200, it's about 45. If you're what is this a super GM then it's about 20 so there you go from 45 down to 20 this is the the trend oh and as you can see I've also included some little volume bars at the bottom that show you how many games have been played in each and each of these are 1000 games and now we're overlaying Neiman which I know you've seen this before it's on a slightly different scale and you can see how many games Neiman has played in these levels see how the yeah it's different okay and i've also made you might not be able to see it quite as well but i've made neiman's data points much lighter so you can see this is the trend the normal trend and um generally his centiporn loss has been lower than the average except for in the 2600 to 2699 range but but well, probably well within the margin of error here. Oh, and the variance seems to be right on the average. You can't see the variance bar anywhere. So it's average. 
and this is Magnus Carlsen. And uh, somebody in somebody commented on the last video and thought I was seriously suggesting that there was something wrong with Carlsen for being better than the average. Um, I wasn't. It was uh, the title of the video was clickbait. And uh, of course, I'm not suggesting at all that Magnus Carlsen has cheated. Quite the opposite. Um, you know, in this range here, he's way better than the pack. And even in these levels here, he's better than the pack. So no surprises. The dude's uh, amazing. And that's it. I've put the code in my blog. I'll put a link below. Here we go. Using R, there's the there's a click to um, Raphael Villets, uh, Raphael Leets file, and here's the code. 